Hi guys, we're back here with Big Al McMorty this Friday, and we're going to talk about this Kansas State-Oklahoma State matchup as your complimentary selection. But before we get to it, if you have not already subscribed and you're looking to access all of Al's plays, send me a text message to the number below this video. He's already released on Monday the entire NFL card. On Wednesday, he released the entire college card. And as I always like to ask you, Al, for the newbie, the novice, or the longtime daily sports better, there is value playing early because you're trying to get the best of the number, correct? That's correct. I mean, you know, I'm a sharp. I know what I'm doing. There are other sharps around the country who know what they're doing. The last thing I want to do is let them get ahead of me. Um, you know, uh, if, if I'm smart enough to understand where the value lies, so are other people. And it's better to bet earlier rather than later. You know, as an example, uh, you know, last week or actually a couple of weeks ago, we had Notre Dame plus three and a half uh, in that big game against Ohio State. The game then gets pushed down to three. It falls three. I had the Rams plus eight and a half against San Francisco. Line gets moved down to seven later in the week. We, of course, win with plus eight and a half rather than push. There's so much value in getting down earlier rather than later. Yeah. So, you know, that's one of the re reasons that we wanted to launch this all access because you have high net worth individuals that call you early in the week and they're trying to beat the number, beat the move and get value because it's hard enough to beat the point spreads if you're betting the day, the games at post right before game time. So, and you don't want to be that guy where you're laying seven and a half on Sunday when you could have laid six and a half or seven on Monday. Absolutely. Yeah. So part of what we do is educate our clients so that they understand how to succeed at this business. Exactly. So if you guys want to reach out to me, just hit that number below. Send me a text, Big Al. And let's get on to today's complimentary selection. We got Kansas State as a road favorite, laying 12 points in some spots, 11 and a half in others at Oklahoma State. Uh, what are you what are we doing? Well, neither team played last week, but two weeks ago, the Cowboys fell 34-27 at Iowa State, while the Wildcats blew out Central Florida 44-31. This is a huge revenge game for Oklahoma State. It was whitewashed last season, 48-0 in Manhattan. I'm going to take the revenge-minded Cowboys, Eric. Take a look at how rested, revenge-minded teams have done since 1980. They've gone 59-35 and ATS. They lost the previous meeting by 42 or more points. Home dog plus 11 and a half is the play here. You know, with that being said, I used to think there wasn't much to the revenge because you have players leaving and new players coming in. But obviously your stats are showing that the validity, especially if the coaching staff stays the same, they kind of like use that as a, hey, this is what they did to us last year, even if you're a freshman player and you weren't there that year prior. Well, I mean, there, there could be lots of reasons why it works. And, and actually, you know, revenge uh, is a, is a favorable or is a positive indicator. Double revenge does even a little bit better than single revenge. Um, it could be as simple as the coaches who lost the previous year make changes in game plans and coaching. You know, it, 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 it could be motivation. It could be a lot of reasons why revenge, you know, has a, gives you a slight edge, but it does. So once again, the complimentary selection tonight is? It's uh, Oklahoma State plus the points over Kansas State plus 11 and a half. Plus 11 and a half. And again, if you can get better, look, people normally bet favorites. The public will bet the favorites at post, right? So you could get 12 at post. It could go up a half a point. That, that's always a possibility, right? And it's always a possibility it can go down regardless of what the public is doing because the books move in uh, with regard to what the sharps are doing. I don't think the books really give a crap about what the public is doing. They care right. about what, what people like me are doing. So you got you to get ahead of the number by, you know, like I said, better earlier rather than later. All right, there you go. Compliment your selection. He's going to bark to the bank tonight with a double-digit dog at home. Oklahoma State against Kansas State. And as always, have a great day and good luck.